Hello and welcome to this new set of videos that I will start sharing with you. This is more like vlogging I, and I will take you through all the steps that I make from creating a Knights Templar Fortress in Unreal Engine 5. Now what you're seeing here is the day one that I had. Very, very ugly. We're go I'm gonna take you through all the steps that it's going and share with you my thought process behind it. So for this fortress, there is a big challenge here. It's massive, it's big, and we need to sell that. It's also like very concrete, like military style, very harsh. It doesn't have too many organic shapes, but it feels it still feels like made by hand, but very, very solid. So first I want to take a look at how I start. I start putting these black holes here that they serve as a window. The window is really important because it helps to sell the scale. Now, the scale is really, really important in environments because when the environment you're making is really big, there are many elements in the scene that can make the viewer think that actually this is very small. And there are also a lot of elements that can make the viewer think, you know what, this is really, really big and we want to sell that. So the next thing that I will do is to change the tiling. The tiling, it's pretty much helping me to just sell the scale. Like uh, you can see, I put this third person character here and I put the brick wall. So I know how big this can be. Like I know how big this fortress can be. And I have a reference that I can look at I can look at and also like the size of the bricks is something that I want to follow. So next step, I just add more areas of this and I will apply the same process. I completed the whole thing. I actually have a live stream where I show you all the steps when I'm making this. You can take a look at that. Um, and then I just start playing a little bit with the scale, like more vertex painting, more, you know, more material applying here. And you can see that I'm starting to change in the lighting a little bit. I'm starting to start putting this, uh, this ground element that you see here. It's, you know, like the base of this, it actually helps a lot to break the, the like that solid line that you usually see on environments. So when you add this piece is actually helping a lot to sell the scale. Also, this kind of break is bigger than this one. So it will give me a lot more variety in my design. I have a small bricks, big bricks. I have bricks that are more noisy, bricks that are more flat. So for example, if I take a look at the scene, let me let me take a look at the scene here. You will see that I have like some some bricks that are very noisy and some bricks that are really flat, like this one, for example. And I already put some details here. You can see in the lining, you can see that I have some geometry here to sell, like the break the silhouette. We will get into that in a moment. Now different types of bricks with different colors actually helps a lot this piece. So I'm going to take you through the steps, how I reach that. So next step, I start putting the, the top floor and I start adding the gate. The gate is really, really important because the gate also sells the scale. The gate also tells me how big this gate is, like how tall it is, how, how many persons like I can put there, like, is it like a, if I put like a very small gate, like, is this like a dark fortress where people can just sneak in and try to get inside? So every element such as the wood planks and everything and the stairs really helped me a lot to sell this piece. So next it's, I start adding the, the windows, the windows of the Templar fortress. Uh, they, they, they have this cross here for the Crusaders and they have some uh, other walls here. So I start just texturing everything. Notice that I'm using actually, actually using the same material here that I'm using down. Uh, just you cannot really tell because of the way I UV and also I change the color a little bit. Uh, it's, you're reusing a lot of what I have 
And if it doesn't work, then I start looking for another solution. That's one thing that I can share with you. Like, don't just import new and new assets that you're never going to use. Use what you have and try to make it work. If it really, really doesn't work, you can start changing the asset. So I start adding more windows. You can tell like the scale it's already like it's, it's starting to really, really sell. And uh, this is like the the last one that you see here. You can see that I have my, you know, my my windows the They they actually they have a really sharp edge here that I need to fix. So I, I will deal with that later. Uh, but you can already tell how the windows help to sell the scale of everything. Now, is the bricks big enough, small enough? I think they're fine for now. Probably I will need to make them a little bit bigger because of the scale of the of the fortress. But so far, everything is like pretty nicely. Like I start putting this guy here and I have some, uh, you know, I actually make the holes so that, you know, it's not a black plane anymore. And I have the windows here. Uh, there is actually a really good opportunity to just start lining this and, you know, just start putting some of, some of this to help sell this. Uh, like uh, lights are really, really good to actually tell the viewer that this is a living thing. And it's not CG, like this is not a picture. This is actually someone living there and you can see the you can see the lights there. Uh, it's a very, very common trick that people use in environments. Another trick that you can use is to put flags to make it, you know, uh, have animation and everything. So anything that adds movement and life to your buildings will just make them feel more alive, even though it's just an unanimated object it just will feel just better. So uh, I will use that as an opportunity to actually probably light this. It does help a lot, to be honest. So uh, that's it for the state of the fortress. Uh, I, I be, will be working on it on the coming weeks and share with you different tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? What do you what do you want to learn from me? And I will share with you, uh, you know, my advice. And also, if you got any questions, making environments or anything, then feel free to reach out in the comments, and I will do my best to answer you. So, with that said, let's see how this will look like next week. I will share with you more progress and see if this actually has some hope, because this is actually very ugly. So it kind of reminds me of uh, like my new golden retriever that I got, because when they're puppies, they are like <laughs> kind of like a little bit ugly. But when they grow up, they are like super beautiful. It's like pretty similar to this. This is a very ugly stage where, you know, everything is blocked out. Everything is just like, eh, I don't know if there is hope on this. Just trust the process. Eventually, things will look better. And with time, you will see that, hey, actually, this doesn't look bad at all. So with that said, I will see you next week with a new update.